Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and today I'm going to be talking to you about some crystal hacks that will help you connect better with your crystals. Now I just want to say right from the beginning, I'm not a crystal master, I'm not a crystal healer, I'm not a Reiki master, nothing like that. This is all based off my own personal experiences and my own research. I love crystals, I practice with them daily, and it's really a passion of mine. So basically I'm going to introduce the crystal to you, give you a little basic information on it, and then explain the hack for you to try. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. So the first stone I'm going to be talking to you about is howlite. Howlite is known to calm you if you have an overactive mind, it brings peace and tranquility to you. It encourages rest and relaxation and is associated with the crown chakra. Howlite's super soft and it feels so good to touch. So my hack for you, get up some howlite when you're feeling anxiety or you're feeling a little worried and just Meditate with it, be still with it, and it'll really bring a calming energy to you. My next crystal I'm going to be sharing with you is amethyst. I'm sure you've heard of amethyst before. It's a super popular crystal. It's associated with the third eye and crown chakras, and it aids meditation, helping you get to a higher consciousness. I will say though that this stone really is primarily used for people overcoming addictions and it's definitely a hack on its own with that respect. But for me, my hack for you guys is having amethyst by your bed with it facing you. This is gonna have, this is gonna help you get the most vivid dreams you've ever had in your whole life. <laughs> I've been having amethyst next to my bedside for the last three years and I can really tell you when I wake up in the morning I remember my dreams and they're way more crazier because honestly I have amethyst next to me. <laughs> the next crystal hack I have for you is something called crystal pairing. Maybe you've heard of this, maybe you haven't. It's basically using two crystals to help magnify the intention you want it to do for you. So for my example, I have citrine and pyrite. Both of these crystals are associated with the solar plexus chakra and they both deal with manifestation and bringing more creativity into your life. My hack for you guys is to have these crystals together and place it in a spot in your home where you'll see it every single day. The more you see it, you come back to that intention, you remember that manifestation, and it seems to come, whatever it is that you want, it seems to come faster to you. Um, I've used this a lot with my career and with manifesting money, and it really does work. I know that sounds weird, but citrine and pyrite together, you're going to manifest things so fast. So please try this. My next crystal hack for you is selenite. Selenite really clears your energy. Think of it like a lint roller in a sense. If you were to go to like a crystal healing session, I guarantee you that crystal healer is gonna have selenite and they're gonna clean your aura with selenite. <laughs> so selenite is associated with the crown chakra and the higher up chakras. I don't even know their names, but I think there's 14 of them. <laughs> Basically my hack is if you have selenite, um, it would be better if you had a wand, but I have like this little baby wand if you're leaving out of an environment or a group of people that you felt like were really toxic or negative and you really just want to clean your aura, like the fastest thing you can do is get a selenite wand and just kind of like move it through your body. And it's like a lint roller just attracting all of that negativity and bringing in light into your aura. It's It instantly gives you like a better feeling. I know this is kind of weird, but <laughs> I swear it really works and you just feel so much better in that moment. The next crystal I'm going to be talking about with you is green fluorite. I personally love fluorite. I'm a big fan of rainbow fluorite, purple fluorite, but especially green fluorite. Fluorite is known for clearing the mind, giving you a mental enhancement, and improved decision making. Green fluorite is associated with the heart chakra, helping clearing the heart, but I do find that it also helps with the mind. 
So my hack for you guys is to place green fluorite by your workplace, maybe your desk, take it to work. If you can't do that, taking it in the car with you on your commute to work, that's what I use this little guy for. It's always in my car. And I kind of just look at it while I'm going to work. I hold it in my hand and I tell myself I'm going to have a great day at work. I'm going to be sharp. I'm going to be able to multitask. And I basically do when I do that. I have a great work day when I have green fluorite with me. Now, finally, the last crystal I'm going to be sharing with you guys is Labradorite. Labradorite is the gemstone of magic. It awakens in those who wear or carry it a mental and intuitive ability. I've read that it helps with clairvoyancy, telepathy, telepathy, <laughs> astral travel, past life recall, and increases the amount of synchronicities you see in your life. It's associated with all the chakras and is best used when you wear it. So my crystal hack for you guys, this is my Labradorite that I keep with me in my purse at all times and this is my labradorite bracelet i would totally recommend getting labradorite jewelry uh, if it's a ring a bracelet a necklace when i have this on i feel like things just go my way in my life like in a certain situation when i'm out in the world you just want to have a little luck on your side that's what labradorite brings to you it brings this like lucky magical energy so those are all my crystal hacks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I would love to start a conversation in the comments. If you try one of these hacks and wanna let me know how it went, I'd love to start a conversation. Or if you have your own personal experience with any of these stones, don't be shy, like let's talk in the comments. I'm all about communication here. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.